Hi everyone, this is Diane. I'm here to show you how to make a Google Doc uh, editable by other people who have do not have school Google accounts. So mostly I'm talking about if you're sharing something with parents and you're trying to use it as a sign-up sheet, uh, this, these are some simple, easy directions to follow. So once you're logged in and you go to your app launcher and you're going right into Drive, so I'm already in my Drive, I'm going to select the document that I used as my sign-up sheet. Here I'm just using a digital curriculum, one that we're actually collaborating on with other teachers. Um, so I set up a table for people to actually add their names or information as we begin working on our units. The same thing would happen for you as a teacher if you want parents to sign up for a certain time frame or provide certain information about what they're bringing and so on. Uh, once I have that set up, what I'm going to do is go to my blue share button. And what you're going to see is at the top, this is an actual link that goes directly to this document. If I just share this link right now, you're going to see no one can access it except for me, the person who created it, because I have it set to private. So what we don't want to do is it would be just a pain to enter every parent's email address down below, which is one way to do this. But a simpler way is if you are actually sharing this link out, what you'll want to do is make sure under private you're going to say change. Who has access to this document? I'm not going to make it public on the web, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select anyone with this link, and you'll see it says no sign-in required. So if I send out this link in an email or if I put it on my uh, classroom website, and that's where the parents are accessing this, then once they click on the link, they can get to my Google Doc sign-up sheet. Um, right now, the second part is, is they only can view it, so they can't actually add any information to it. So I'm going to change that to can edit because I do want them to be able to use it as a sign-up sheet. I'm going to say save. Now I'm going to go back up to my link. I'm going to copy it, and you're ready to put it in an email and send that link out to parents or put it on your classroom website, and they should be able to sign up on your document. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.